Hey everybody, we are headed to Overland Expo East in Virginia, Arlington, Virginia. Not Arlington, where I thought we were going five hours. It's Arlington, six and a half hours. Arr, like a pirate. But uh, we're headed out now. We'll be there this afternoon. It didn't take long until we saw these guys on the Pennsylvania Turnpike with these two huge elk rack that they harvested at a place in North Dakota. It was super nice to talk to them and uh, get to know them a little bit. Then we were back on the road. I read a lot about people's disappointment with the 392's fuel economy. Over the course of the trip, round trip, we got almost 16 miles of the gallon. I'm extremely happy with a 392 and 40 inch tires. And just like most days, it comes time we got to stop and get some ice cream. But we couldn't find any ice cream, so we had to settle for frozen yogurt. And then back to our long drive without a whole lot to look at. But as we got close, we get on this road here, which reminded me so much of a trip we took a couple years ago to Northern California, going down the one, which runs along the ocean. It would have been great if we were in a Jeep, but we were in roads like this with a 40 plus foot motorhome pulling a 20 foot trailer with a JL Rubicon on the trailer. Just turn after turn after turn of up and down, up and down. The motorhome did not like it. That was actually our last motorhome trip. When we got back, we decided to sell it. I'd have much rather do roads like this in a Jeep. I was very surprised that we got there just after 6 and they wouldn't let us check in. But we made do and camped in the parking lot. This whole situation played a pretty big part in my opinion of this uh, Overland Expo. But we'll get to that at the end of the video. We love our Scottle and use it on every single trip that we go on. If you ever need a Scottle, let us know. We uh, stock these Timbo Tusk Scottles here and we can get one out to you. We got here a little late, so nothing fancy. We just got some uh, chicken marsala tortellini with some mids pasta sauce and some canned chicken breast. But I'm sure it's still gonna be good. Like most trips, Sarah's excited to get the drone out. We're not sure if drones were legal here or not, but I think they were. I didn't see any signs. We love this airbed. We brought it with us for Levi to sleep in the 392. It comes in handy. This is also Seth's first outing with his trailer. And I'm not a huge fan of trailers. This is our rough country light here. It works as an awesome street light. We usually bring one or two with us everywhere we go and they work out great at night to be able to see to get out. Some breakfast burritos and sausage links. And when the gates started to open, we quickly packed up so we could get inside to see what we thought 
was camping. Then we got inside, they park you as close as possible to each other, and they call that festival style overlanding. I called it an overcrowded parking lot for $300. Nevertheless, at that point, we decided that we were not camping there again tonight, but we went inside to see what types of adventure we could find in there. It's pretty difficult to, to bake. I've tried doing some stuff just because of the fire up top. You have to actually turn it off. Uh, in order to like really bake, right. so it's I've like actually been baking in this a lot. Uh -huh. uh, make cornbread in the smoker yesterday, okay. uh, but we make making pizzas in that. Yeah. How often you got to rotate a pizza? Pretty quick. You got it working the whole time. Very quick. Yeah. 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 You're gonna, they're done in three minutes, but you're all working all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes it sweet just to heat up the skillet, though. For sure. We did meet a lot of nice, knowledgeable people who really knew their product. That one's a half a million, but it's a small one. And even though I love overlanding in our Jeep, and I love motorhoming, I really want to get into an earth roamer at some point. By no means is this extreme off-roading, but they did have some sort of a track set up here that you could uh, rent a Jeep and take it through. Got a chance to look at this F450 here that uh, was super singled out. Liked it a lot. A lot of new products that I had never saw before from smaller companies who uh, use events like this to let people know that they exist. And there was a lot of really nice new stuff out there. There was a lot more overlanding trailers there than I thought there would be. I think a lot of people are making the move for that. And again, more overlanding trailers. Did I mention there was overlanding trailers there? <laughs> I think this hot dog sink justifies the $30,000 We met up with the SHW off-road guy, and it was nice to get to know him a little bit and his product. He makes this really great drawer system for the back of a JL, and he also makes it for a JT in a single drawer and a double drawer. Then a quick peek into this uh, miniature earth roamer. Let me talk to the Armor Light guys. We love our Armor Light. We have it in a few of our rigs. This is in a JL here, front and rear, and they haven't released the cargo area Armor Light yet. As soon as they do, I hope to be one of the first to get it. And more of these awesome Earth Roamers. And more overlanding trailers. Or overpriced trailers. I, I've heard them both ways. I'm not a big trailer guy, but Seth is. He uh, he really appreciates a lot of these. I think we had a Brad spotting. Then we're walking around. And I think by this point, Levi was over it. 
Or he might have been over it when we left our house to go there, I think. He was not as excited about it as me and Seth. This is a prototype unit that I thought was pretty cool. Then it was time to get some lunch. We decided to go with chicken pot pie in a bowl with a biscuit. And then one of the goals for the trip, Seth wanted to get himself a selfie with Brad from Trail Recon. And we just so happened to catch him coming out of the bathroom. Seemed like a perfect time to get a selfie, doesn't it? So Seth added that to his selfie collection of our other famous YouTubers. Rudy from Matt's Off-Road Recovery, Casey250, and Sean from Story Till Now. And here's a really well-known Earth Roamer from YouTube that I was unfamiliar with until this show. And Rhino Rack, we use a lot of their products. Really nice stuff. And then with that, we'd pretty much finished the show. And it was time to go out into the parking lot and look at some of the uh, rigs that people drove in with. This F450 caught our eye. We have a similar truck with a truck bed to camper that we use in the wintertime. And a schoolie. It was nice walking around to see what everybody had. And then at that point, we decided we'd head on back to Ohio. And this area here is really what they're referring to as festival-style overland camping. It was not. I was not impressed. If I uh, ever went back, I would not camp there. I would uh, really overland Oh, you know, a few miles away, an hour away, whatever I needed to do. And then I would come in in the morning and go through the show and be prepared to leave and overland somewhere, somewhere close by within an hour range. Uh, I wouldn't stay there uh, and be all cramped to quarters and stay like that again. And that didn't take long. We had to stop for ice cream. Back out to Curly Q Windy Road. Overall, the 392 was the biggest surprise, I guess. To get 16 miles to the gallon in something with almost 500 horsepower on 40-inch tires, um, on Dana 60s, and it, just be able to have an extreme off-road vehicle that still got 16 miles to the gallon and be comfortable to drive 80 miles an hour down the interstate, it was really just a... A nice Jeep and a, an overall a good trip. Pennsylvania, we're almost home. We were excited to get home for the big reason of Seth's new Jeep came in while we were gone. And he was super excited to get it and get working on it. Sarah's new Jeep is still a few weeks out. But as soon as it comes in, we got to get it torn down and get it put together, too. Wow, is it cold out here. Look at my legs. Is that a chicken? No, that's Levi. And that concludes a pretty good trip here, so uh, have a good one.